Oh. Relvo reports that Hermoso did not actually write or say that statement. <laughs> Source, I fucking made it up. No, she said she loved it. In fact, she said she wants to start dating the president. This is how they're announcing their uh, marriage. You hear about the women, the women's football player being kissed by the Spanish Football Federation president? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Let's see, some Sunny, Barry, and Yo-Yo. You excited for the new episode of Jujutsu Kaisen coming out? Yeah. Here, I'll look up the soccer, the soccer incident. If I do soccer player kissed, will it come up? Oh, that is the first thing that come up, comes up. Spain's soccer federation stands by its chief amid uproar over kiss. Let's take a peek here. I'm the authority on all things smooching related, so I'll pass the ultimate judgment. But apparently not on NBC. I'm not turning off my ad block. Okay, let's take a peek. Spain's soccer chief, Luis Rubiales, is temporarily suspended after World Cup kiss. FIFA on Saturday suspended the head of Spain's soccer federation, Luis Rubiales, following allegations that he's forcibly kissed a player during the Women's World Cup medal ceremony. This doesn't look like an allegation. <laughs> That's, that, that immediately looks like a kiss. Here's a video. este maravilloso deporte, dedicándole ese título. De campeona de este planeta. Hey, where's the allegation? I'm, I'm watching it happen. Right here. De campeona de este planeta. I understand you have to say allegation as a publication, but I mean, he just he blatantly grabs her head and then kisses her. Jesus Christ. He smacked her ass too, did he? Where do you see that? No, it looks like he pats her back on the way by after forcibly kissing her. The way he grabs her head, too, is so aggressive. He looks like one of those bodybuilders doing a feat of strength where they blow up a watermelon in their hands. Jesus. Okay, so this happened three days ago. Things the resub psycho Tidlion and Hobo. It was an unacceptable gesture, and Mr. Ruby Alice apologies are not enough. They are not even suitable. Therefore, he must continue taking steps to clarify what we saw. We continue to ask for the resignation of the man who has harassed and assaulted a woman. His excuses are useless. This person must resign. Yeah, agreed. This guy seems like a fucking weirdo. Dangerous weirdo. Someone that does this is one of those guys that has that, like, fuck you money, that kind of power where they feel like they can do anything and face no consequences. And it looks like that seems to be the case since he hasn't resigned nor been forced to. Bob Barker just died. No. Oh, wait, Bob Barker, didn't he die a while ago? Is he sub Devante? No, he didn't. Oh, wow. I really thought he'd passed away quite a while back. I have to apologize, there is no other option, right? And furthermore, learn from this and understand that when you're the president of an institution as important as this federation, you have to be more careful, especially in ceremonies. <laughs> what a strong statement. Rubialis has previously called those criticizing him idiots. What do you mean I can't kiss any woman I want without any level of consent or anything? What, what kind of world do we live in? Fucking woke mind virus? Can't grab a woman's head and fucking kiss her? Unbelievable. It was a mutual gesture that was totally spontaneous, prompted by the huge joy of winning a World Cup. 
The Prezi and I have a great relationship. His behavior with all of us has always been 10 out of 10, and this was a natural gestation, just, Jesus, gesture of affection and gratitude. So this is, is this the actual woman saying this? Sounds like it. But didn't she also up here say that she didn't like it? In a live stream of the team celebrating their locker room after the game, Hermoso says, I didn't like it. And she's apparently shown a video or photo of the kiss. She says, what do I do? Look at me. Look at me. So why is she saying this down here? Oh. Relvo reports that Hermoso did not actually write or say that statement. <laughs> Source, I fucking made it up. No, she said she loved it. In fact, she said she wants to start dating the president. Th th this is how they're announcing their uh, marriage. It's Spain, dude. They kiss as a hello and goodbye. Well, tell that to uh, Hermoso and everyone else with eyes. I, I, can't, I can't say I've ever seen a greeting or a goodbye like this. Where you go up to someone, you grab their skull, and you fucking plant a mean smooch on it. Without them wanting any part of that and obviously being very upset about it and it's usually on the cheeks these are some Loro, Dallas, Rigo, Victory, Nelif, and Denim okay so then what's the update he's been suspended it'll bar Rubialis from all soccer related activities at both the national and international level for the next 90 days while a disciplinary committee reviews the incident He fully trusts FIFA and reiterates that in this way he is given the opportunity to begin his defense so that the truth prevails and his complete innocence is proven. The Federation said in a statement, What do you mean? I watched it. Was this a premeditated, calculated marketing play or something? Like, what do you mean? The truth. What the fuck? I <laughs> think we could all see him do it. What in the world? You're missing vital context. She grabbed his wiener. What was he supposed to do? It was free pizza. He didn't fuck her, she fucked him! What the, this is an outrageous defense. Just say he got way too excited and he's also a big fucking weirdo. <laughs> There's not, like, more context. It's a five-second clip and all of it happens within that five seconds. He's a prime unlicensed stock in the resub gray. No, I'm not doing Crota's end. On Friday, the players from the Spanish national women's soccer team vowed to not play again until Rubiales and the other leaders stepped down. Oh, Jesus. That's pretty big. FIFA reiterates its absolute commitment to respect the integrity of all persons and therefore condemns with the utmost vigor any behavior to the contrary. Okay, well, ask him to step down then. T tell him he's got to go, Buster. Take a hike. Xerisub, Arku, Puick, and Jack. Look at his other controversies. Is this something he's known for? A serial smoocher. Let's see. What would I even type in? Because this is obviously the biggest one. Spanish football boss caught grabbing his crotch next to Queen and her underage daughter during his scandalous World Cup celebrations. What the fuck? Damn, this guy sounds like a real weirdo. Jesus. Thanks, Arisa, Yak, Aries, Forsane, and the Prime Junior. He also apparently used the Federation's money for an orgy. Oh my god, I've got to look that up. If I just type in Luis Rubiales orgy, will it come up? Yes, it did. Luis Rubiales accused of hosting orgies with money from Spanish Football Federation. What? How did he? How did he get to keep his job from this? 
He used the Federation's money for orgies, and they're like, yeah, sorry. Is he just the only one that's super open about it? Do they all use it for orgies? Luis Rubiales' name is increasingly being associated with scandal. This is in 2022, by the way. The president of the Spanish Football Federation was earlier forced to defend himself against the accusations of corruption in collaboration with Gerard Peake, and now the anti-corruption department is investigating him again. According to El Mundo, Rubiales has been accused of hosting private parties at a chalet in the region of Granada. He used Federation money to fund these parties at which 8 to 10 young girls would arrive at the chalet. They were expensed under the pretense of work event at which the closest, closest members of his team were present. The accusing party is Juan Rubiales, his uncle and former chief of staff. Juan also headed his campaign for the presidency of the RFEF before he was sacked in 2022. Among the statements, he accused his nephew of hiring private investigators to follow head of Spanish Players Association David Agonzo and telling him that he needed to find a way of getting money out of the Federation. Wow. Seem, seems like a good guy. What, what, a, what, a, what a character. And they've already had a player strike for not having a good enough coach and abuse from the coach. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? Recent Tari Banana Doodle and the Prime Smoggy or Smoggy. I don't know how he still has his job. Now, of course, they're you know this kind of thing. Maybe they don't take seriously. That's the impression I'm getting. They don't actually care that the man just <laughs> fucking without consent just planted a wet kiss on a completely upset player who did not consent to it, maybe they don't take that seriously, but he's spending their money on orgies. Why wouldn't they care about that? How does he keep his job? Thanks for you, said Mateo. 